Okay, Mikhail, let's uh, create some holes in some geometry. What I'm going to do is I'm just going to bring up a Polycube 3D here and make that 3D mesh. And then we have our cube. I'm now going to append in another cylinder like this. And we'll get that cylinder, scale it, and move it up. Okay, so it's just cutting through. And what you can do is you can use the Boolean function. So you can go to this one here and you can click on here for a subtraction and you need to turn live boolean on and then you've got a hole now that isn't the real hole because if you go and turn this off uh, this will come back again so you want to make that an actual um, hole itself so what you can do is because it's a boolean you come down to boolean you can go make boolean mesh now if you look up here it's created a u mesh if i append that u mesh into here like that and turn these two off we have our hole. And you'll see that the geometry has been broken up. Now you could take this into DynaMesh at this point um, and then recreate your geometry or you could use something like a Z Remesher if you wanted to. Now the other way of doing it is to actually use a DynaMesh to do it. So let me just delete this out and bring this back up. If I take this model, okay, and I take it and I make it a DynaMesh, by coming down to DynaMesh here and I'll just leave it on the default 128 make that DynaMesh model yeah like that if I now come up to this and I've got this set in subtractive mode with this on DynaMesh if I now merge this down merge down click OK um, don't worry about this you can see it like this but we haven't remeshed it yet because we had it in subtractive mode, as soon as we do a control and drag, it will take that part away and you won't have to do the Boolean, the Boolean make Boolean mesh method. So it's created that for you. So there's two ways of doing it. You can do it on that and then do what you like with it, or you can do it in DynaMesh mode to create your hole through a surface.